Hello viewers, welcome to Ajadu Math Class. Today we shall continue with our statistics for beginners. This is our fourth episode on this series. Today we are going to start with the mode of group data. And in our previous videos, we've been able to look at the mode for the mean. If we are able to look at the mean and the median of group data. So today we shall move straight to the mode of group data. And the formula for our mode of group data, we have that mode equals to the lower boundary, okay, LB plus F1 over F1 plus F2 multiplied by C. So we can possibly easily bring, put this in a bracket for easy computation. So where our F1 is the same thing as the frequency of the media, model, uh, model class minus the frequency before it. So looking at this now, this is our frequency of the model minus the frequency before. And also, our F2 is the same thing as the frequency of the model class minus the frequency after it. And um, here, our C is the class width. That is, you can call it the class interval also. That means the difference between the lower and the upper. And LB is the lower boundary. So, these are the parameters that we have. Now, we are going to use this to compute the information given to us there. Now, for us to do this, now we are making use of the same formula here. We have that our mode equals LB subscript B plus F1 over F1 plus F2 multiplied by C. So, with this, our lower boundary, the first thing we are going to look at is to determine our model class. And our model class is where you see the highest frequency, and this is our highest frequency. So this is where our model class is, which is 25. The highest frequency is 25. So this is our model class, that is 6 to 10 and 25. So this is what we are going to put into consideration. And for us to determine our lower boundary, we know that our lower limit here is 6. Okay, so you are going to subtract 0 0.5 from this lower limit 6. So our lower boundary is going to give us 5.5. In my previous video for the median, I desire to use the lower limit directly because you can also do that. But in this case, I'm going to use the lower boundary by subtracting 0 0.5 from the lower limit plus F1. Our F1, don't forget, is the frequency of the model class minus the frequency before it. And the frequency of our model class here is 25. So let me put that in bracket for easy computation. Minus the frequency before it, which is what? 20. That is my F1. Everything over F2, which is the frequency of the model minus the frequency after it. And the frequency of the model class is 25. The frequency after it is 23. That is my F2. My F1, I'm going to repeat this, which is 25 minus 20. Multiply by my class width, which is 5, you know, from 1 to 5, so which is 5. Now, simplifying this further, I'm going to have 5.5 plus 25 minus 20 is going to give me 5 over 25 minus 23 is going to give me 2 plus 5 multiplied by 5. And with this, I'm going to have and my mode is going to be 5.5 plus 5 over 7 multiplied by 5. So with this, I'm going to have 5.5 plus if you 5 times 5 is going to be 25. 25 over 7 is going to give me 3.57. We can add that together. So the mode is going to be 9.07. And approximately, my mode is going to be 9. So that will be the height of the student. If the height of the student is in um, centi uh, meter, or any unit the height of the student is, 
So we're going to have the same thing here. So this is what I just have. Okay. Now, looking at this now, you are going to see that this value 9 must fall within this range of 6 to 10. Just like the same thing we did in the median. If it falls outside it, then there's a mistake somewhere. So this is our frequency, uh, the frequency for the modal class. And um, our final answer here is 9. Thank you very much, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In our next video, we are going to move straight, because we are done with the measure of central tendency, we are moving straight to measure of dispersion. So when